Governor, the, the chaos in Kearney. Where does the GOP stand right now? Will you be unified for November? And doesn't this put a black cloud over Jim Pilgrim's chances of getting elected? Well, first of all, I'm going to disagree with you on chaos. It's the process, right? We have rules about how we vote on resolutions or change the Constitution, and those were all followed on Saturday. And what we had was a bunch of new people who came in and wanted to see a change in the leadership of the Nebraska Republican Party, and they followed the rules to be able to do that. And now I'm looking forward to seeing what the new leadership will do to be able to help Republicans get elected in the fall. And I don't think it's going to impact Jim Pillen getting elected. I think he's going to get elected because he is the best candidate. But the it looks like it's the, the Herbster folks, some of the uh, Lindstrom folks that have, that have objected to you, the way you handled things in the primary, uh, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in commercials attacking those two candidates, and they're not happy with it. Well, I think there probably are certainly people who disagree with the way that I got involved in the primary, but I would say that the majority of the people that showed up there were new people to the Republican Party. And while there were certainly people who were supporters of Herbster, there were a lot of reasons why people got involved. They are unhappy, for example, with the Biden administration right now and all the crazy coming out of Washington, D.C., the undefended border, the withdrawal from Afghanistan, record high gas prices, inflation. All these things are why people aren't happy with the Biden administration. I think that's why you see a lot of grassroots activists who showed up at the NEGOP conference this past weekend. But nearly a dozen people who have worked for you closely over the se last several years resigned their posts with the Nebraska GOP. That certainly says upheaval, doesn't it? Well, I think what you see, again, is uh, you have new people there who were looking for a change in leadership, and they you know, got the votes to be able to uh, you know, install a new chairman. And you know, having a you know, new chairman means that that chairman should have the opportunity to get the people in place to be able to carry out their vision. Is it your job now to pull the party together? Well, I think that what we're going to see is that Republicans are going to come together because of all the things that are going on in the Biden administration and why people are so unhappy. Again, why we had so many people there this past Saturday, because they're unhappy with the Biden administration and they want to elect Republicans in the fall. So I will be working to elect Republicans in the fall. Robert Bohr has, is, is running a write-in campaign for governor. Isn't that going to take votes away from Mr. Pillen and possibly open the door for Carol Flood? Well, I have no doubt that Jim Pillen is going to be elected this fall. Jim is the best candidate. He's got a strong campaign. And, Joe, you know as well as I do, write-in candidates are almost never successful.